Uh, I'll post on Instagram and then they'll say, oh, mother and son. Oh, I always get that. Oh my god, seriously. Yeah. Hey, it's Sonia. Welcome to another episode of Men Explain. Now, we got a hot topic here today. Would you date an older woman? I mean, I have my thoughts about age gaps as well, as you know. I will address that in a while. But we got a special guest here in the studio today. His name is Brandon. Welcome, Brandon. Hi, Sonia. And the plot twist is he's not alone on this today. His wife here is in the studio. Say hello to KK. What's Hi. up? Hi. <laughs> so KK, I hear that you're here to fact check today. Isn't yes, it? yes, I am. Yeah, no wonder you look so happy. She's been having this smile on her face <sighs> since she walked in. We know you on social media. Mm. Everyone's seen you guys on social media. Very popular as well. Maybe let's start by sharing with our audience what you do individually and mm. how you guys met. Let's start with you, KK. Hi, I'm KK. I'm an e-commerce director. I uh, own a business. I own several businesses actually. Ooh. One thing that I'm doing with Brent is our shop called Orient Ocean. So we're an online grocer. So we can talk about that later. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Plug it, plug it. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I'm Brandon uh, and I'm actually a real estate agent. So that's my full-time job. Oh, so if Selling Sunset were to come to Singapore, would you like apply for that? Yeah, it would be interesting for me to, you know, explore that. Right? Yeah. Like Selling the OC mm. now, I mean, not to mention other shows on our show, but yeah. you know, mm. it was pretty interesting. I binge watched it all in one shot. Selling the OC got guys now, you know, it's quite mm. interesting dynamic. Tell us a little bit about how you two met. Hmm, do you want to start? Wow, no, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I want Brandon to answer. Okay, so so we, okay, so we first. We'll see this accurate or not. She'll um, tell us later. Okay, so we first met through um, a mutual friend. Okay. Actually, it wasn't in Singapore. It was actually mm. in Bangkok. Mm. So back then, um, KK was used to stay in Thailand. Mm -hmm. So I went over with my friend uh, and his partner, and um, KK's uh, his partner is actually uh, KK's mutual friend. Mm. So then um, yeah. we actually went out for a meal together. Mm. So it was the four of us and that was uh, where we first met. Mm. But on that trip... There, um, was, there were five people. Yeah. Oh, there were five people? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> She's here to get the facts straight, guys. Okay, okay, I forgot. Okay. So there were five people. Uh -huh. uh, so on that trip, um, we just <clears throat> briefly said hi to each other. Okay. Um, mm. Prior to that, we... I mean, I knew of her, yeah. but I didn't know her personally. She probably didn't know I existed. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, no, no, I really didn't know him. Say it as it is, girl. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it was just a very brief meal and that was it. Right? Uh, we have for drinks also. Oh yeah, we have for drinks also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I want to share some, something interesting. Please do, yes. yeah. So on, on that, that day, right? So uh, we were in the cab going from, I think, the dinner place to the drinks place. And I was just making small talk. So I said, uh, so what do you do? Mm. And then Brandon answered. What do you say? <laughs> I told her that I used to run a F&B business together with my partner, mm. uh, but I, Chak. But I, yeah. didn't, I didn't hear that part at all. Yeah, and okay. then I said, I also do some modeling. Yeah, the only ah. thing I heard was, um, I'm a model and after I just switch off because... <laughs> Why? Because it's so it's so like vapid. I don't like guys who so just she, want to be models. She has and selective hearing. <laughs> she just choose. Uh, she just chose to he, hear like the soft. part that uh, she has something yeah, yeah. against. Then after that, after, initially I thought okay, he's quite cute. Then after that, when he said, "Oh, I'm a model," then I just I just switched off from there. What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So, okay. So you switched off from there, but yeah. were you captivated by her a little bit? That's why mm, I used happened? I used to always watch her videos oh. prior to that. So I knew of her. Uh, I saw a, a lot of her videos uh, prior to that. So um, I but, already... But he didn't tell me until maybe one year or two years into the relationship. Yeah, but I didn't he wants to play cool. He yeah. doesn't want to seem I like a fan know. or anything. Yeah. Because it would be very weird, right? Imagine you just meet someone and then you just say, hey, I just watched all your videos. I watched all your videos before. I, I watched your videos over many years before. You, know, you don't see many years or you don't see yeah, every but video. It would be so weird, right? If you just meet the person. Yeah, you know, I've get seen on you on YouTube before. I think that's, that's okay. Yeah, you don't have to be yeah. too honest yeah. about it. I just didn't want to like... Um, Touch on, on, on yeah, that. but then so, I said, oh, after one two years, I realized that oh, he actually he watched like almost all the videos, and he he oh actually gosh. knew. Yeah. Oh wow, wow! But okay, he was just very cool about it. That's quite yeah. cute, like, I mean, you know. But did you already like <coughs> kind of have a crush on her or something at the time? Uh, <laughs> like you like thought it. she was cute or something, you know. Then when you met her, you're like, wow, this is my opportunity. Yeah, I, I thought she was pretty. Yeah. Uh, but because our we didn't really have much conversation mm -hmm. yeah. during um our meal and our drinks. Yeah. So uh, I think then that was. That was just about it, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm. Then um, after that, my trip ended. I came back to Singapore. Yeah. Mm. So then, when she came back to Singapore, about 
two, two, three months later. Yeah, about two, yeah. three months later. Then she visited the place that I used to work at. Oh, okay, hold up. I'm going to yeah. stop right here. So, KK, mm. did you know that he was going to be there at that place? Oh, uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. <laughs> you know. Yeah, actually, it was our, uh, my friend who wanted to go and, you know, see the cute guys. Him and his ex-partner were... So, you thought he was cute at the time? Uh, I think he's... Normal only. Ooh, normal, okay. normal, normal, normal. <laughs> at that point in time, at, at, at that yes. point it was normal. At then later on, I discovered more things about him, yes. especially one thing that happened at Chuck Chuck that made me uh, really be interested in him. It was an endearing mm. incident? Or no, was it, it was... Oh my God, can I say this story? <laughs> can I say you this know, story right? without saying who it is? Yeah, you, cannot, you just cannot say who. La. Yeah, I just okay. won't say her name. Yeah. So there was so this... A girl, okay. It was a girl and <laughs> to me, she is like a bit... I mean, she has quite a bit of a celeb status. Okay. So we won't say her name. La. Okay, you can the, say after when we stop rolling the camera. Yeah, Kidding. Yeah, cannot, 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 cannot. So she, I think she was being very friendly to yeah. him. And mm. then it, I was just thinking, you know, if if I'm a guy, I'm a single guy, and you know, this quite, cel- and she's quite pretty. Okay. Okay, and somebody of this status is, you know, I wouldn't say hitting on him, but being very friendly, I would entertain ma, because... Okay. Because why not? I have nothing to lose if I'm a guy. Yeah. But then I saw her trying to put an arm around him oh. and he was just like running away. And I was like, <laughs> He's running away? Yeah, not, not running away. He was just trying to siam. Right, right. Yeah, and I was like, hey, like quite impressed because I would think that most guys, I mean, not even just his age, even 10 years older, they would, they would you know, like just lap they, up their, uh, the attention. attention. Yeah. Yes, yes. But then he was like, yeah. yeah. So, so you I was just because like, you were looking also. La, I was looking, yeah. of course. I, was, I mean, <laughs> She's somebody, yeah. and then he's also quite quite cute. Yeah, and yeah. then yeah, but he was just running away, and I was like, "Hey, this guy maybe got a bit of substance more than I more than <coughs> mama model." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The selective hearing. Mm. In the beginning. Okay. So from that point on, I started to take notice of mm. him. Yeah, but at that point, were you aware of this age gap between the two of you? Um, when did that conversation come up? Like, were you I think aware? I knew because JQ is one year older than you. Mm. Mm, so. I didn't really know your actual age mm. when I first met you. Mm. Yeah, so I didn't really yeah, know, we, but uh, it wasn't really like a concern as okay. well. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think um, that would be mm. an important factor. Mm. More of like whether or not we would get along and stuff like that. I think these are more important and at factors. The, at the same, uh, what do you call it? The same point in life. And the I same, feel phase. same phase. Mm. In life. Yeah, same phase in life. Yeah. 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 So, so at that point, mm. you were, you know, building your business and yeah. stuff mm. and you were also, you know, being quite mm. entrepreneurial with certain businesses. Yes, correct. Would you say, like, both of y'all were quite on the same page in career, in life, in what you were looking for in love? Um, I think we were at the same stage in life where, you know, it's not like one party is still schooling yeah. and then the other mm. party is uh, already in the working world. Yeah. Mm. But, but he had just started. But I had just started. Mm. So, and building my own business back then... Um, I was drawing very little salary mm. compared to her. Every now and then when she walked into my shop, she would have been carrying lots of bags of like shopping, shopping stuff, mm. you know, <laughs> and like a lot of branded stuff and stuff mm. like that. So uh, I would say we, are, we were in the same phase, same stage, but she was probably... Um, doing a bit better. Yeah, correct. Doing yeah. a lot better, a lot better than okay. I was. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And that didn't bother you at all? It at did. It. Oh, it did? Okay, <laughs> it did. tell me more about that. It bothered you. It did. So, so we, we went out yeah. very briefly, like never hold hands, never anything. Just, just you know, but I mean, it was, I think it was very uh, apparent that we were sort of interested in each, each other. Wait, who made that first move then? Who asked who out I think first? I asked him out. You did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cute. I think How I asked did him you out. ask him out? Just... Like, hey, wanna hang? Wanna eat, yeah. And then after we went for KTV with my friends. Oh, yeah. and everyone got along together. Yeah, and it was, it was, everything was perfect until, until oh. the next day. Oh. Until the next day. And, and, <laughs> look, and, look at his face, he's know, like crumbling and, under pressure. Yeah, already, and like. leading up to, up, up to this date, right, everything was going very well. And, and then the, the next day, is it the next day? Something like that. I don't know what happened. He disappeared from the face of my earth. What? Yeah, really. Why? No, nothing wrong happened that night. Hold on, can I can yeah. I ask if yeah. this is not too much of a personal question? Yeah. Because this podcast is really like, you know, bear it all. Yeah, kind. yeah, sure. So in that in that period mm. of time where you guys were getting to know each other, mm. was it purely just hanging out or was it physical as well? No, not physical. Not at physical. All. Mm. So it was really just Just getting clean, to know each fun, other. Getting to know yeah. each other. Okay. Yes. So why did you why did you disappear? Did something and then happen? I didn't hear from him for like three months. 
three months yeah. that's 30 years in girl time <laughs> right 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 especially when you when, when you thought the first date was perfect yes yes I was just sharing on a previous episode mm. that um, the person that I'm with now yeah. after we met and started talking he didn't ask me out for two weeks and to me that felt like two years <laughs> like, <I was laughs> like, what? maybe no. some experience what, what exactly was going through your mind she, she has, we have already said this story many many times yeah, okay. okay for the so, sake of this yeah. audience yeah so mm. she has always been um guilt tripping me about this uh, oh, ever, ever since this happened. Right, yeah, 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 right. Three months, three months is, a long is super time. long. Yeah, so she uh, kept saying I ghosted her during yeah, this period. Yeah. yeah. So um, it was because I was uh, unsure of whether or not uh, we could proceed further uh, in getting to know each other. Why? Because of... The, you mean the relationship yeah, can yeah. progress yeah. any yeah. further? Yeah. Correct. Because of how um, I feel that we may not be so compatible in terms of uh, our... How do I put it? Basically, because I was spending more money than he was earning, yeah. I think. Our, our, yeah, our, our yeah. different financial status. And, and the lifestyle, and the lifestyle that, that I was used yes. to. Correct. So, so he, he brought up this... Okay, okay, so let me let me see. Yeah, okay. So, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I feel I, like I'm sitting in on a I'm conversation s- between the two of no, them. So I was so upset because he explained only three months later. He could explain to me at the start. Then I'd be like, okay, I get it, you know. And then you know, closure. I can move on, okay, or I can wait. do it. So on that note, interesting that you brought yeah. that up because communication then between yeah. someone who's you yeah. know older and someone who's younger, I feel like that could mm. have been a factor here. Like if he were a bit more, I don't know. That, I don't yeah. think it's his age. He is just very reserved by nature. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, okay. I didn't want to explain it then because it would be very weird. Uh, when you're trying to get to know the person nothing much yet just yeah. like maybe a little bit of uh, affection yes. and then mm. you go all out and tell her I have all this list of concerns and but, then, but he did he did, yeah, he did. and then and then she'll be I <laughs> mean if, a, you are the, if your partner tells you that um, right. it will be a bit weird as well right right so, like why it's so intense yeah. Yeah. yeah so I think one of the factors were like um, I, I brought up this example I said mm. if you go and watch a movie mm-hmm. you will watch Go Class Okay. I will pay the you know last time I was like maybe eight dollars, ten dollars ticket, the cheapest yeah. one okay. to watch a movie. So our mm-hmm. our standard of living is very different. He, he makes me sound very spoiled, but in my defense, right, I only watch a movie like one or two times, one month, one time, or two months, one time. Okay. So okay. for for me to pay like thirty or forty bucks for the ticket instead of someone watches a movie every week, every week I think yeah. it's okay because I watch it so seldom. I'm not a movie buff. Right. So, so it's, it's not really a big deal. Yeah, but well. but to him maybe he thought we were need we were watch movie every week every week you pay 50 bucks yeah, yeah. and then like maybe yeah. you know going out for meals if we eat like yeah. expensive stuff uh. and, and all those kind of things I won't be able to keep up I wouldn't he, want to expect her to always pay for yeah. me as well because society perceives as you know yeah I mean I would want to pay more, but we better. were yeah. very chill at the start what? I mean I, I paid I think I paid most of the time at the start yeah. but then after we got married, you know, yeah. he has just taken over the role. Oh. And, yeah, so. yeah. Okay, so this is very interesting as mm. well and relates to our previous episode too in some yeah. ways about, you know, who pays for what. Mm. So did it bother you that she was getting the bill a lot at the time? I mean, did it make you feel a certain way? Yeah, I mean, I would feel bad as well. I wouldn't want her yeah. to always pay for the bill also. But you so, didn't expect that of her, right? Because she's older or earning more. Uh, no, actually. Mm. Yeah. But so, I, I did it for my friends also. I didn't really feel that, that much... Yeah, but I would I would think like yeah. okay down the road if we were really um, be together mm. and then uh, I would have to be able to pay for all these things I would be able to uh, I would have to be able to sustain this kind of lifestyle mm. so would it work? Mm. So he really thinks very fast. Yeah, so, yeah. so during this so that's good. ghosting yeah. period, um, <laughs> those were like kind of my thoughts and then uh, but I was do you need to, to think for three months? My question to KK would be mm. what would have been an appropriate way of him communicating that to you, like. I mean, I know that he didn't talk to you for three months, but no. he didn't give you contacts or say anything? Nothing. So, so what would you have wanted no, and then, to say? And then the worst part was because Singapore is so small, right? Yeah. I started hearing rumours that he was gay and I was like starting to <gasps> doubt myself. Like, did I imagine that he sort of liked me? Were those messages that I would like reread? And then during this period, right, even though um, we didn't meet, he would sometimes slide into my DMs, like comment on an okay. IG story. Okay. And then I'll be like... Like screenshotting of yeah, this? I yeah. screenshot and send my girlfriends and like, you know, we're all deciphering what does he mean by this? What does he want? And, I swear, and, us girls do this all the time. Yeah, and all <laughs> my girlfriends were like, question mark, question mark, does he mean this? Does he mean that? <laughs> Like it actually, just, in his mind, actually, it's very simple. Yeah, like, but, yeah, but none of us knew what he was thinking. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then his actions like did not reflect. Reflect, any, yeah. Anything, yeah. It, was, it was, I was kind of stuck because I was like, still interested yeah. but then I was afraid that you know like uh, if I go into it further then like you know we'll waste each other's time it will not work out right. and then 
Uh, well, you feel that's, very sweet. That. that's very sweet of him, it right? It is very sweet, think, actually. Yeah, because most know? guys, especially his age, I think most guys will not care about the consequence of yeah. wasting someone's time. Yeah, yeah. and you, you, you were thinking very far at the mm. point. I was, I was. And I guess also, it would be a bit awkward if, you know, you just gotten to know each other and yeah, you're just like, yeah. hey, I, I need some time and some <laughs> space because, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not quite sure whether our qualities are aligning at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then maybe she might feel like, Wow, why he's so intense? Yeah, why he's so serious? Yeah, like, yeah, just, correct. yeah. Correct. Right, that could be the thing, mm. right? Yeah. Okay, so then let's pick up from there. So after um, the three months, mm. what happened? Who made the move again? You figured out he's not gay, obviously. No, um, after three months, I was really like, you know, on really like giving up already. But then he would still come and reply my my stories. <laughs> say what? What does he say in these replies? I don't know. Like, I will ask people, you know, like typical IG story, like, is this colour or this colour nicer for this shelf, yeah. for example? Yeah. Then he will like, answer. Pick a colour. Yeah, okay. pick a colour and then I'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, like very, I don't know. I don't like know he's trying to do. fire emojis like when you have like no, a hot picture. No, no, no. Not, not like that. It was just like a, like a very friendly kind of DM. So then, then after the three months, what happened? He asked me out to eat. Okay. Supper. Right? I can't remember. Did I? <laughs> I think so. Was it probably. Guys probably. Remember? probably. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, remember, I, I think. Yeah. I think after the three months, then I reached out to her again. Yes. And then reached she out was to me like a client. Oh my god. And then she was. <laughs> yeah. um, he touched base. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was very um, taken aback. Like right, she was yeah. very shocked. Mm. Like what? You come, you yeah, asked me why, again? Why, why did I appear in her life again? Yeah. Right. That was the part where I explained, right? Yes. 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 Uh. He said. He said I have something to tell you. After dinner. Oh my god, okay. you must have been like, oh yeah, my like, god. Like, yeah, what does he want to tell me? <laughs> so then everything went fine after that. You guys continued. Mm, you guys that, so he out. explained that night that okay. uh, all these things like, about the Go Class movie and I was yes. like, what? So yes. after that, I went to watch one normal movie. Yeah. <laughs> like the normal $10 one. Yes. Yeah, then the, after that, we, we just went back to watching Go Class. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, from then on, yeah, she was like, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick to Go Class. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you know, aside from all this, it, I can see the genuine happiness and connection mm. between the two of you. Very cute stories there as well. And you know, you took us on a real journey, getting to know each other and all. So then I wanted to ask, you know, in regards to the age gap, mm. right? You guys mentioned earlier on, mm. 11 years? Yes, is that 11 what years. Is? Okay, yeah. so to the two of you, that didn't really mean anything. Was it a um, non-event or a, a non-issue? We actually never discussed it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, to me, it doesn't matter to me. Right. But maybe, uh, to at the back parents, of at the back of yeah. my head, it would have been maybe mm. my parents yes. would be more concerned that about was my it next question, mm. yeah. because my parents are more traditional, mm. conservative. So, yeah, they are more mm. conservative. Mm. They are so more are like, mine. So are mine. Mm. Yeah. So the way they think is is really yeah. more. Yeah, I think uh, they they were also con- my parents were also concerned about whether he could take care of me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So Especially when so when did you break the news to your family and friends that you were dating each other? When yeah. did our family know? I don't know. I think like when you were quite serious already, or not really. Like three on? three months on, maybe. Okay. Because we yeah. went to Japan. Ah. So that oh, was yeah, we we, our social media announcement. Ah, okay, so we posted okay. a photo of us yeah. kissing at yeah. uh. What's Disney that Harry Land, Potter? No, 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 Harry Potter one. USJ. Yeah. 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 So what what was your family's what were your family's reactions when you broke the news to them or when they found out? Mm, my family I don't really uh discuss much about my personal life I, with I, them. I, I, I have a feeling that his parents also thought he was gay to some extent because they really he, they really don't know. He's very reserved. Oh, actually, much. I realize you know a lot of uh, Asian families mm. that we don't. A lot of my friends also they don't open up a yeah, lot about yeah, their dating yeah. lives. Correct. You know, so it could be the case because yeah. yeah. So mm. I I don't share a lot mm. with them. Uh, so when they saw the picture, they also didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. They never say anything oh, to okay, me. Okay. Yeah. They didn't say anything to mm. me. So. Uh, maybe they might have some thoughts about it, but they never say lah. So yeah. I also don't. Really but she know. look very young, what? So you cannot really tell, like. In the but they would know, ma. They would know if they they just Search Google. Or they would know, yeah. So then, was it a conversation that you ever had with them after that? I mean, no. now no, that things are so no. serious. No, really. no, never. No. no. Oh wow, interesting. Yeah, we didn't have to have that. What, one thing you need to know about <laughs> Brand is that he's yeah. actually very very mature for his age. He is. Yeah, yeah. we've never had any, um, like arguments on him being childish. Mm. Yeah, probably, if any, it would be me being childish. I mean, look, him. like, someone in their 40s could act childish mm. or so, you know, or like, whatever. Sometimes yeah, it's not yeah, really yeah. about the number. The, yeah, it's not yeah. the age, exactly. it's the emotional maturity. Yeah. 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 So He's okay, very old soul. What about your parents or your family, brother? My parents, I think they were just happy that 
I was settling down. But I, I'm quite sure before we got married, they probably thought he was a time waster. Yeah. <laughs> I really? Mean, you because, so? because he's young, not okay. because of how he is, just because of the age gap, maybe. Okay. They, they did, probably didn't think, you know, this had any... Uh, potential to be long term mm. Mm. but this isn't the first time you mentioned earlier that you've dated someone younger correct yeah. so what was the dating history like for you dating history I I think I have a, a history of dating younger guys I don't know why I just feel older men are I can be friends with them but mm. dating wise I think we have a lot of how to say uh, like not aligned in the way we think mm. 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 Okay. but with Brand it's very I feel it's very easy like he's like the one yeah. not Aww. to be cliche we never argue over values that's very very important yes. like over what what is right what is wrong everything that we see mostly like the wrong will we all be on the wrong the right will all be on the right yeah yeah so in so that sense never, it was very effortless mm, for effortless the correct correct to get along yeah. that's great i mean mm. because i think the one thing that say my peers worry mm. about sometimes is yeah. telling their family that they're dating something someone a lot mm. older or mm. a lot younger but more so now do we notice and I'm not sure if you guys want to add on as well with your friend groups and mm. all that more and more people dating with wider age gaps yes. like you know older women dating younger guys that's becoming mm. such a non-issue now what, what are your thoughts on that? At the end of the day I think that there will still be people people um, will talk no matter what yeah. so yeah. Mm. definitely like um whether or not it's an older lady or an older guy, mm. as long as there's a um, age gap big enough, yeah. there will definitely be people talking behind your back. Mm. So it's whether or not you are okay with it or mm. whether or not you'll be but affected But we don't live it. our lives for them. So, yeah. 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 so like how... Uh, I mean, sure, I'm sure that there were people talking about us as well, yeah. mm. but it doesn't really affect or bother me. So yeah. I don't really care about our that. Our close friends never really say anything also. So yeah. I always believe that we make our own world. So For sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And to be honest, like, <laughs> you know, I'm sure you're also familiar with people just hating on each other yes, on the yes, internet yes, yes. or their on like comment section or it's just yeah. them really projecting their own unhappiness mm. or their own thoughts and opinions correct, correct. and we should not care. So we are, we are yeah. very used to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure you are. I'm yeah. sure you are. Both of you are quite, you know, mm. public as well. So um, earlier on, I wanted to pick up as well because KK, you mentioned uh, that in the beginning, mm. you were the one that took the lead more in terms of like finance and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, you because that time stuff. he was earning really, yeah, barely enough to survive, survive to even for his meals. So. I just paid for yeah. our meals, which wasn't it wasn't a big deal to me. Also because he was very busy, so we didn't see each other a lot. Yeah. So maybe like once a week. So, so then if I, you said the dynamic shifted a bit <coughs> after you got married. You know, you settled down um, and all that. No, no, no. Um, it was before that. So, ah. um, about one year after we got together, he got into real estate, and then mm. I don't know. He's I don't know. He's lucky or he's good. He's doing very well in great. In, yeah. in so it, when so. I started um, becoming more financially independent yes. yeah. then um, mm. I uh, as, as long as I could afford it then I would I would do it mm. Yeah. Mm. so if so, we eat yeah. out uh, and stuff I would yeah. generally pay for our meals yes. now, now I, I, I honestly think I hardly ever pay <laughs> we, we, when it's like both of for us for the gold class ticket maybe <laughs> no the, not anymore the movie tickets also, he, pay more, he pays wow. most of the stuff now I think yeah. but mm. who who has more of like mm. um, the boss energy at home who takes charge more Mm. Can you know, be you know, you know, right? This, right? A lot of people, especially my friends, they always think because I'm very outspoken. They yeah. always think I'm the one who is like, you know, wearing the pants, yeah. controlling all the fucking strings. Yeah. But actually, you are. I am for the small things, for the small things. But the big things, the major things, I cannot sway him. What, he's what very, are some examples of he's major very things? Stubborn. Like example, like buying a house. Okay. Yeah, I'm moving house. I don't know, like. Yeah, like maybe Major moving things. house, like the location, the area, the, the kind of like uh, development that mm. I want. She may not... Uh, Is this a work hazard because you're in uh, real estate? Or? Uh, kind, <laughs> kind of as well. Okay. So I feel that, okay, I, but I'm, I mean, I'm real sure... I'm as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've also joined him. Yeah. 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 So, so, so. I, I'm 100% uh, sure I know what I want. Okay. Mm. So then I'll tell her this is what we need to get okay. yeah. and, and she may not necessarily like it yeah really really cannot compromise on but yeah. you still like we're going ahead but, yeah. but I'll tell her that um, that your choices are not what I like mm. wow. so I yeah. I think that we this is really the best choice so okay. we have to go for this yeah Yeah. so, so but for the smaller day to day things or like running our business yeah. he would uh, listen to my opinion okay yeah. 
So there's a balance of power there at home mm. at least. But, yeah. but very few people see the side of him that he's very <laughs> stubborn and unwavering. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the moment you guys walked in, you sat mm. down, I did not feel that energy. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, sometimes yeah, yeah. when I ask you a question, you will look at her also, like, to see whether, like, you know... He's not looking at me for what he wants to say he, yeah. or what he can say. He's looking right. at me to help him answer. Right, Because he doesn't okay. want to talk at all, yeah. I see. Interesting dynamic. Okay, mm. speaking of choices, though, because you spoke about choices, mm. I'm going to list a few comparisons that people make, okay, okay, about, say, older woman and, like, a younger man, for example. Mm. You can tell me whether you agree or not, okay? Mm. An older woman know what they want. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, you would say yes. True. Okay. Older women have less drama. Oh, true? <laughs> true, uh, true. True. Okay. What about <laughs> you, Kiki? Can you laugh? What I, do you think, <laughs> I think it's quite true. I think it's very true. I think because maybe the younger girls he dated last time uh, were more, had more issues. Right. Yeah. A bit more problematic yeah. in some ways. Older women are more independent, I guess. Because yeah. Yeah. we just you don't, don't have time or energy yeah, to yeah. Yeah, exactly. sweat the small stuff. So, okay, older women offer more emotional stability. True. True, yes, you agree? Yeah, really? yeah. okay, yeah, that's true. good. I don't older feel I'm, I'm very stable all the time. <laughs> he, he is very, very uh, emotionless. Oh. So, in comparison, I'm the very emotional one in the relationship. I see. Okay. So, he's like, he's like my rock. Okay, but so I, I, would, I was quite surprised to hear this from him that he thinks I think generally it's quite true quite but maybe for you mm. <laughs> <laughs> she's an anomaly ouch, ouch. Mm. a special exception <laughs> yeah okay older women are better at communicating what they want oh yes that's true she yeah. always if she's not happy with something she always says why she's not happy about it okay yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't I don't really like to I don't want to like you know she be around be, the bush yeah, like, she won't be the, the kind that like um, Let pretend, him pretend yeah. that uh, she's not angry okay. like she's angry then she pretend like oh I'm not angry you can go out that kind right, of thing right. you can if go and guess why I'm upset yeah. I'm not like that she's no. angry she will really show that she's angry which cuts down a lot of the time yeah. for us right sometimes when it comes to figuring yeah. it yeah. out and then yeah. I just want the fight to end by okay what are you gonna do to prevent this from happening again mm. or to make it better yeah yeah then case close done need to go on and on yeah done mm. and that's it I love that okay so I'm gonna shift now mm. as a younger man okay for the ladies younger men bring out the fun in you do you agree did he bring out a fun uh, side of you or are you already very fun <laughs> You seem like you're already happening, <laughs> la, so I don't know. Bren is a very old soul. He's always the one like, okay, can we go home at 12? Can what? we go home? All my friends are like, oh my god, you just came. Did you not run a bar? <laughs> I yeah. used to always go out like round two, round three after yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. So I'm already, I was, I was already, I'm over that. Okay. Yeah, so now... But that was just a very short part of his life. Yeah, yeah. It was really yeah. very tiring. Wait, how so, old are you now? I'm 29. 29. You're 29 now. Okay. Yeah. Wow, people are still like going hard, man. You should see. Yeah, hard. right. Yeah, but I feel that I'm very old already. So I'm always just very tired. And then she, she's always the one who like, Let's can go we go and drink? Yeah, can, yeah. We, can we go out and... And you know? every time we go out, he's always like the first one who wants to go home. Oh, no. And all my friends will be like, no, don't go home. Yeah, the go home police. That's what yeah. they call him. <laughs> the go home police. Oh, no. Okay. Well, it could be the opposite for you guys. Mm. Uh, younger men have different views on commitment. I mean, clearly you guys had no issues. Yeah, he was about that. very, very committed from the start of yeah. after the the, the after three the, months after the ghosting. after the three months <laughs> after the ghosting. He was he did very something. he was like progressively committed. Yeah. yeah, so no issues there. So I think this one is you know a no brainer. Mm. Younger men might be more immature. Clearly, that's not the case mm, for no. the two of you. Um, younger men may be going through a different stage of life from you. At the at the at, time. at the start, yeah, yeah, at the start before he joined real estate at that time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah okay well that's understandable okay that was the end of the quiz uh, mm -hmm. you all were on the same page most of the time mm. but when it comes to communication right like you mentioned earlier on you don't really fight about anything at all no, no not, not, not that we don't fight we do fight you but, do fight yeah mm. but what was about I don't know, with my exes, I feel that there were a lot more disagreements mm. and a lot more issues because I had to fight for how can you do this? Most people will see this and know this is the wrong thing to do. Right. Yeah, yeah. But for him, nothing like that. Yeah. I think maybe because of our upbringing is quite similar. Yeah. And then... So communication wasn't yeah. so much of an issue. Because, you know, I think um, 
people or rather society mm. generally they would think like oh you know you guys might fight or like mm. there might be a lot of communication problems there's still some social stigmas out there but you guys mm. were lucky that your family and friends were very supportive so why do you think there's a social stigma mm. of older women dating younger men I think maybe they think that the guy is just not financially ready yeah. you know guys are supposed to be typically la, seen as traditionally guys are supposed to be the breadwinner mm. yeah so when when the ages are sort of reversed yeah. the woman starts, starts to be seen as the provider right so or in a rude sense some mm. people say like sugar mommy la, yeah, or yeah, like yeah, what yeah, right yeah. So on the topic of financial independence, right? Mm. Um, you were mentioning also that you were in a better place financially mm. compared to Brandon previously. If he didn't get that real estate gig, and mm. if he didn't then become more financially independent mm. and was able to you know provide more and spend more, would that have been an issue that would delay mm. the relationship? Yeah, I, I think I think progressing? our our entire timeline would have been delayed. Especially mm. like starting a family and all. So I think we would still have been together, mm -hmm. but maybe um, our journey would probably be tougher. Yeah. And slower uh, track. Yeah. yeah, and maybe slower. So maybe we wouldn't have like two kids this quickly. Yeah, mm. We right. wouldn't have gotten married this quickly. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what inspired you to take on, you know, a, a different gig, like take on real estate? Was it because you already knew, like, I have a goal here, like, I want to start a family with this woman, that's why you decided to switch gears? Mm, I wanted to uh, explore real estate because based on my age, I feel that I should be earning more, mm. so I wanted to explore something new. But ever since I got together with KK, mm. uh, I also wanted to work even harder because uh, I want to be able to... Close the gap. Mm. Yeah, close the gap mm. in terms of the, the financial difference. Mm. Yeah. So I think in a way that really motivated me and pushed me to really, yeah. you know, work very hard in this industry mm. uh, to mm. be able to achieve what I uh, have today. Yeah. yeah. And it all worked out, yeah. you know, in a, in a good way as well. Mm. It wasn't like uh, demanding in the sense yeah. that, oh, I just, you know, I have to do this because I need to buy like three bucking bags next oh. year. No, like, she, you know, she, she, thing, she, yeah. yeah, she didn't like pressurize me. Exactly. She yeah. didn't expect me to like buy her gifts or yeah. things as well. Yeah. So it was more of like, I, on, I my, feel, on my yeah. own part, I wanted to like really buck up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. she seems also like if you want to buy that bag, yeah. you might just walk in and buy it. I think in a small satisfaction when <laughs> I pay for my own things. Yeah, she pays right. for her own stuff. Yeah. Right. yeah, so that's fantastic. Mm. But on the flip side also, like, because I am dating with a big mm. age gap as well. Mm. Initially, when, you know, I posted about our story mm. and stuff and then I didn't even reveal like that we had a big age gap, whatever. Yeah. But, you know, some, I guess, tabloids that like, covered it and yeah. then came to ask us questions and all. And obviously, it was angled in a not very flattering way right. towards me. It was right. like, oh, 26-year-old yeah. at the time, I was like, you know, tw yeah. a 26-year-old is dating like a 40-year-old, like yeah. uh, whatever. And obviously, it angled me in a way that, that didn't are, look so yeah, positive, yeah, yeah. right? And obviously, you know what? Immediately, the first comments that came through were, mm. oh, she must be a gold digger. Yeah, yeah. Like, must be, must be a sugar baby, mm. that kind of thing. I think it's the first... Uh, assumption that right. most people will make mm, uh, whenever yeah. there is a uh, substantial age gap. Age gap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But do you think it's worse when an older woman is dating a younger guy? No, not that I've seen though, because mm. most of my friends who, or my acquaintances who date younger guys, they, I mean, the guys can provide for themselves. Yeah, yeah. But when when it comes to more serious things, like example, buying a house, starting a family, then I think the dynamics would change, lah. Because you know, you're talking about big amounts of money mm. yeah so yeah, but for us it was okay so then you know between the two of you as well um, mm. like you said you block out all the negative comments mm. and, and all that but what are some bad or terrible comments that you've seen out there if you don't mind sharing yeah I don't I don't um, yeah. like uh, I will post on Instagram and then they will say oh mother and son oh I always get that oh my god seriously yeah mother and son I mean they just they're just lame like yeah, who's yeah, yeah. I mean sorry whose mom looks like that yeah, I mean, girl, you're mm. lucky if your mom looks like that. They are just, I, and it's always anonymous accounts, so I just either blog or delete. For Brand, he receives less uh, of these controversial comments because okay. he's just a less controversial person. He right. He's just a nice guy, Mr. Nice Guy. He doesn't really uh, share his opinion that much unless it's about food. So yeah. for me, I share unless my opinion. Unless it's about food, yeah. I love yeah. it. So for me, I 
air my emotions or my opinions more mm. yeah, publicly. So that opens me up la, to more of these kind of hate comments. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. So yeah. whatever like hate comments or mm. bad comments uh, are mostly from her platform that mm. I usually see. So, you know, sometimes she'll just tell me about it. Sometimes she also don't tell me about it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, if it bothers like me, you would not just you wouldn't care at this point. Uh, sometimes yeah. I would though. Like I mean, yeah. I'm still a girl after all, and yeah. maybe having a bad day. I mean, hu- human, right? Human, yeah. you would definitely be affected. Rarely, like, I think nowadays, right, that you will be affected. Yeah, like, too, too busy already. Sometimes Someone we yeah. just two kids. Yeah, briefly mention it, mm. and then I'll just say, I just ignore that person. Yeah, just, yeah. just forget it, right? Yeah. Mm. So, so then you know, you guys have a good thing going. What was the biggest lesson that you learned from each other so far? If you can point something out, yeah. I think from him I learned how to be more patient, mm. which is very weird, right? Considering he's so much younger, yeah. Like, you would think that somebody older is who has lived life would be you know more chill, but he's super chill. So I've learned to be more chill as well. Okay, so I, I think for uh, me I have learned how to be more sensitive towards her feelings. Okay. Mm. Because she's someone who's very very emotional, very sensitive, mm. and to to my my close circle lah, not, yeah, not to, to outside to, people. To, yeah. to, yes. to the people close around her. Yeah. So. Mm. To me, it may feel like, um, you know, if, if, I, if I didn't know her this well, uh, if I do something, uh, I wouldn't think that it might upset her. Mm. But because mm. of how she is... But, but he's already very sensitive, so... Mm. Yeah. yeah it's but she's really, like, extra <laughs> sensitive. So I have to take care <laughs> of... I, I try to take care of uh, that part of her feelings. You have to be conscious feelings. of that. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's interesting, guys. I mean, I felt like we went on a whole trip like with your entire story, with your <laughs> journey, you know, you sharing about the ins and outs. I think we want to end this off very soon mm. with maybe both of you, you can chime in on this. Is, are there any words of encouragement or things that you want to say to people out there who still feel concerned that mm. they're being judged by others? You know, you have only one life. I mean, as cliche as it sounds, you have only one life if you ca- if you spend your whole life caring what other people say, whether you know you're the older woman or the younger guy, if you keep focusing on that, you uh, you might lose out on happiness. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So mm. for me, I think um, if you if you don't try, you know, you will never know whether or not mm. both parties will work out. Yeah. So like how you know I ghosted her and then I wasn't sure, and then mm. after in the end I came back and I gave it a, a go and. Now we are really married with two kids. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think that in the end of the day, uh, what matters most is really what you want. Yeah. You shouldn't really um, care so much about what other people Correct. say. Mm. Uh, just take it with a pinch of salt, and then uh, you know, live your life the way you want. Yeah. People will always impose their own fears yeah. and their own yeah. insecurities on you. So yeah. just don't bother about them. Yeah. Mm. I think uh, we've also hardened up a lot being yeah. somewhat in the industry as well, mm. uh, being a public-facing figure yeah. and stuff. So definitely, thank you guys so much for coming on the show and. Sh- sharing literally almost everything your entire life story <laughs> just like put it out there for all of us to listen and to watch mm. thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Men Explain we really hope you enjoyed it hit the like share and subscribe button and we drop new episodes every alternate Thursdays let us know if you have any comments on today's topic and you can continue to grill brand next time yes. see you <laughs> bye bye